we had to think about having plants that can uh, produce more of the nutrients in a limited uh, space and with limited resources. Our technology equips plants with a higher content of amino acids that are essential for the human diet. We're going to send seeds of um, a model plant that is called Arapidopsis italiana, and we would like to see how, when these seeds come back from space, um, how these seeds react to space. We are attempting to um, see how we can um, improve uh, plant productivity um, using um, plants that we have modified uh, to have more uh, resources to withstand a uh, space flight. By 2050, um, our population would have exploded. We need to make plants that are stronger and uh, more yielding um, in terms of biomass uh, productivity uh, to make the tools for mankind to, to survive in, in a space that is not becoming bigger, but where the human population is becoming more numerous. This, for me, will be uh, my third mission to space. And I can tell you that the, for, for the other two missions, when we were doing the countdown of the rocket going out to space, I, I cried because it was so exciting being part of history because each rocket they sent to space is part of history. But Artemis is mind-blowing because it allows to achieve so many milestones. I'm Federica Brandizzi and I am Artemis.